Hi, my name is Davison, and here are 25 facts about me. This was inspired by my friend Adorian's video. My first name was supposed to be Samantha, not M.A., which means love in French. I would have probably been known as Sam, because I go by Davison now on the YouTubes. I actually have my great-grandmother's first name, and she never told anyone her first name because there was this French-Canadian myth that if people knew your first name, then the devil could steal your soul because he knew you personally. So when my parents named me M.A., she just about fell over because she'd never told anyone that that was her real name. Pretty cool, eh? I found YouTube before it started because I was actually sent a beta invite. I have no idea how. And I actually thought it was ridiculous and that it had no future. I grew up in Ontario until I was 12, then I moved to the mountains in Alberta and um, I was living near the mountains but I never learned how to ski. I don't like skiing and falling down hills. A lot of people don't realize that it snows in Canada. When I was a teenager living in Alberta, there used to be deers in our backyard and frequently I would come home late at night. I don't know why I was coming home late at night as a teenager, but my parents were very uh, liberal. And I would have to like clap and sing so that the deers would move away because as soon as I'd start walking to the park, they'd all be like... And I'd be like, oh, don't run after me. La, 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 go away, the deers. And it always worked because luckily deers are like overgrown rabbits unless they're male, in which case they're extremely aggressive. So I was chased by a huge buck down the street once when I was trying to catch the school bus and I had to jump over a snowbank. That's a Canadian story. I am an extremely sound sleeper except for if my son wakes up and then I'm like, Arr! when I was a kid, I once dressed up as a boy when I was, I think, 11 in order to know what it was like to be a boy and I went around areas of town I didn't usually go around with my friend Heather and she kept telling everyone I was a boy but everyone could see the gold barrette that was um, holding my hair up. <laughs> that was a drag fail, an early drag fail. I do not wear any glasses or contact lenses. My eyesight is perfect though at the back of my right eye there's like an abnormality that may be a malformed third iris meaning I might actually have three eyes a congenital third eye. Also, if you look at my eyes, this eye is bigger than this one. And it's more pronounced when I'm angry. When I was in grade three, my mother got me like this Dorothy Hamill bowl cut and so people thought I was a boy. So, see, I wanted to be a boy when I was like 11 or 12, just to try it out, but I was mortified to be mistaken for a boy when I was in grade three, mortified. Stupid 80s haircuts. I have lived in two different houses and tons of apartments, probably at least, I have no idea, like 10. When I was little, I used to drink lots of milk, but now that I'm older, I don't really drink as much. And once I pretended to be lactose intolerant at my best friend's house just because I wanted to taste what lactose-free milk tasted like, so I made her mother buy me some saying that I had lactose intolerance. <laughs> I like to lie a lot as a child, apparently, or pretend to be things that I wasn't. Now I do it professionally on YouTube, except for now. This is all true. I have absolutely never seen Harry Potter. I have no interest in seeing Harry Potter. I know that's ridiculous, but whatever. My favorite series of anything of all time is My So-Called Life, which was an amazing show in the 90s about a young girl named Angela Chase and her romantic relationship with this guy named... Jordan Catalano and it never worked out and it got cancelled prematurely and I've never gotten over it. Never. Yes, Jordan, I will go to the phone with you. Jordan, teach me how to kiss. <laughs> I have two brothers and one sister. And one of my brothers looks like the male version of me. His name is Craig. I used to do track in high school and I still have my high school track shorts third in the province of Alberta. Thank you very much for 3,000 meters. That's three kilometers. I don't know how many miles that is. I do not watch professional sports. I am not interested in any sport on TV other than maybe mixed martial arts because there's lots of naked men who wrestle each other and it's very attractive because they're all ripped and then they beat each other up. So man later. I have only ever been to two countries which would be the United States and Canada. 
I want to go to Europe. My parents live there. Why didn't they send me there? Oh, maybe because I was raising a baby? That's where I should go next. Probably with my son. Thank you. As far as I know, I don't really have any famous relatives. Um, one of my cousins used to be a model. Another one used to be a guitarist in the 80s. <laughs> I am not related to the famous figure skater who has the last name Davison. <laughs> not once have I ever gotten a detention. Never. Never. People did not detain me. I was a good kid. Except for when I turned 18. But other than that, I was a very, very good kid and very good student. Even though actually I, I skipped probably a third of my classes in high school and I still managed to get like 90s. It was really boring to sit in class because they kept teaching same things over and over and over again and this is before the internet can you imagine high school without the internet gosh I'm old I have never been a cheerleader though I was asked to audition for the Calgary Stampeders and I was a showgirl that meant I traipsed around in feathers and my bra and it was fun maybe I should no I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it this is YouTube I created a Twitter account that has 3,000 followers called 100 Jobs. <laughs> I am an extraordinary success. Extraordinary. Respect my extraordinary meanness. Dorian's better than me. I spend most of my weeks at home taking care of my son and family. And I don't go out much and um, I socialize with the majority of my friends online. I have a couple friends that I see in person but they are few. I don't let very many people go close to me. Is this therapy? Is this turning into therapy? <laughs> I was absolutely not born an introvert. I am an extrovert. I am dominant. I am not. I'm not one of those people who is extroverted who's like, no, I'm an introvert. You are not an introvert. You have like 80 friends, like real friends, not Facebook friends. Come on. Bish, please. I don't pretend to be something that I'm not. I am an extrovert. Most, most freaking YouTube people are extroverts. I am absolutely terrible at remembering birthdays and events, and I really pretty much only remember my best friend Heather's birthday and my brother Craig's birthday and my son's birthday, but other than that, maybe that's why I don't have an account with 5.6 million followers on Twitter. Both of my parents are still alive. They're in pretty good health, though my mother had cancer, though now she's recovering. It is very scary, the thought of losing a parent, and you don't know how sad you will be till you face that possibility. It really made me feel like crap, and I worried about my mom in a way I've never worried about her before, and I felt very vulnerable, so cherish your parents. Keep them close, because they're not going to be around forever. I used to listen to tons of music as a kid. I would watch MTV for hours with my brother, and I think that's why I love YouTube so much now, and I make parody music videos, because I've always been inspired by music and music in entertainment. I haven't driven since uh, 2001. Yeah, I mainly take the bus, because where I live, it's just more convenient to take transit everywhere. But I hate the bus. I hate how people are stinky and gross and nasty and 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 weird and and I just I need to get a car, but I just can't justify it, especially now because I work mainly in entertainment and the income is really variable. So I am a 35-year-old woman who takes the bus. Yay! I really like sushi, sourdough, and red wine. Cheers! Yeah! So click here for Dorian's video and subscribe to me. I'm Davison. I also have another channel called LOL Pervs, which is sexy comedy. And pretty soon I'm going to relaunch a reality series about six YouTubers and their pursuit of YouTube notoriety called We Are YTube. So thank you, Dorian, for giving me this idea. We have very little in common, Dorian. <laughs>